Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Audrey and today we are doing a blush collection tour and declutter. I will say I did declutter my collection a couple weeks ago before I decided to start my channel, so it's more of a collection tour than a declutter, but I still get rid of a few things that were laying around and not getting much use. Blush is my absolute favorite part of doing my makeup, so I do have quite the collection. It is growing. I have a few more on my way, so maybe this will be a good way for you to just get some mini recommendations and just see a whole bunch of things that are out there. If you're interested in seeing how I did my makeup today, I do have a YouTube short slash TikTok slash Instagram reel that has a little tutorial for it. I'm using the Odin's Eye Saga of Freya 2 palette and I just love this little Tide Pod moment, but I think that's enough chit chat for now. Let's go ahead and start the declutter. All right, so this is what we're working with. Um, it might not look like a lot to you, but I feel like this isn't really getting across how many layers there are to this bin. Like, this is overflowing. And I'm just hoping I can condense this to be a little bit more usable. Hopefully to just this bin plus my palettes. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to go in the order of brand, more or less. And uh, just whatever order makes sense to me. But without any further ado, let's get to it. So starting off, this is a ColourPop pressed blush in the shade foxy i do believe that this has been discontinued but um it's just a beautiful peachy pink this is one of the first blushes that i actually bought i do like this formula however i wish it was smaller pan not such a heavy compact it is really nice and high quality but um yeah i can just do with a smaller compact than this this is just a little bit too heavy duty than what i'm looking for i'm gonna hang on to this though because i don't have a million of these peachy colors and this just has a lot of nostalgic value to me all right next is the color pop pressed blush in the shade trippin i do believe that this is on clearance on their website and i love this blush it's such a beautiful toasty brown blush it's really hard to find a brown blush, but I highly recommend it. Even if you're super pale like me, I really, really love this shade. I wear it a lot in the winter, and it just looks like the most cozy, hot cocoa, like, warmth. <laughs> I love it. All right. Sticking with ColourPop, but moving on from their press blushes, this is the blush stick in the shade Cottage Life. It's a terracotta color. Um, all of the little decoration embossment type things have worn off of it, which kind of annoys me with this packaging. If you take it with you traveling once, like, all of the letters are going to come off. I like this formula. It's not my favorite, and I know for sure that I have a lot of this color, so I'm going to put this in my maybe pile. All right, now I have some color pop Super Shocks. This is an amazing f blush formula. They have a lot of really fun colors and a lot of their collab collections they come out with them. Um, these two I think are really similar. This is the shade No Vacancy and the shade Georgette. I have no idea which of these are still available or not. And these are a putty to or cream to putty powder texture. So they kind of go on like a putty and then they dry down. This is so beautiful, I, and it's so creamy still. It's not dried up at all. I'm going to keep this one. Um, this one is in the shade No Vacancy. I do believe I bought this on clearance. Okay, so swatch, you can tell that they're very different colors. I have no idea how it looks in my camera, but this one is a lot more of a bright coral, and this one is a lot more of a rosy pink. They're different enough to me that it makes sense to keep both of them. This one is in the shade Chiffon, and this is one of my favorite blushes. It's kind of like a blush highlight or like a topper, but you can wear this all over the cheeks and it looks stunning. It's kind of this like duochrome pinky peach shimmery blush topper thing. I love it so much. I don't think I'll ever get... I think I will use this up, which I don't know if I've ever used up a blush before, but I will definitely get my money's worth. This is in the shade Voila, or I don't know how to say that. Voilà. <laughs> don't come for me, okay? French is a silly language. This one is also kind of like a brownie, shimmery texture. 
and it doesn't have any sparkle in it but it's just a beautiful plummy brown shimmer and it looks so dramatic it looks so elegant i love this blush all right this one i don't love that much this is in the shade prenup and you can tell i kind of tried to like mess it up and repress it because this one kind of came dried up like even when I really work my finger in there, and you can tell there's like a lot of pigment on my hand, it kind of just doesn't really show up for me. Do you see that? So, yeah. I think this one was just expired when I bought it. I did buy this on clearance, but um, yeah, this one just wasn't a winner for me, so I'm going to get rid of this one. So, these were the three OG Valentine's blushers. Um, they are in the shades Kiss and Tell. Love Me Not, and My Type. The hype for these was so real that they launched literally a permanent line of these. They come in a true red, which is like a buildable, not intimidating red. I'm gonna keep that. And this cool toned pink, before it was a popular, might I add. It's not like that viral Dior shade, but it's still like a very cool pink. This is kind of the only color that I have of this shade. I'm definitely keeping this one. And then this one is my favorite of the three. Um, and it's just a true neutral. And I love, I absolutely love a neutral blush. It's just so pretty. So definitely keeping all these three. I'll just do my Kaleidos. Um, this is the only blush I have from Kaleidos, unfortunately. It's in the shade Sanguine. Not that it says that anywhere on it, but I just know because it's the only one I have. I would love to try more of their colors. And this is a red. Um, it's a little bit darker and deeper than this ColourPop one, but it is red red. Like it goes on so bold and so pigmented. So some people will hate that. I love it. I love this color. I, I want more. They have such unique and fun colors and the packaging is like... This is real lace and real metal, and it's like a squishy, kind of fabric-y, plushy packaging. Kaleidos just kills it with everything I launch. I would love to pick up more of these. I'm definitely keeping this one. This is the only thing I own from Lorac, and it's uh, their pressed blush in the shade Ultraviolet. And as you can see, it is very purple. And it's actually the only purple I own, so I will be keeping it. I don't know if I love this color on me, but I'm glad I got to try it. But because it is so unique in my collection, I think I'll be holding on to this. This is from Lime Crime. This is the only a blush I own from Lime Crime. And it's in the shade Dark Web. I don't think that these are still available, but they might have something similar launched by now. This is so pigmented, but still so blendable. And it's a beautiful berry. It's not like a plum. It's not a purple. It's a true berry. And it just looks gorgeous. Gonna keep this one for sure. I will say that formula is not as creamy as some of the other things I own. But um, I still love it. Okay. Whew. Gonna do my flower nose. I do have another one from their mermaid collection on their way to me. Flower Nose just kills it with their packaging. This one is their Circus Blusher um, in the shade Blue Moonlight. They kill it with their packaging and they normally kill it with their formulas, but I will say the blush is not the star of their show. This used to have a beautiful kind of like carousel embossment on it um, that has been lost to time because when you pick this one up, you have to either really, really dig into it or um, you don't get anything. So you can kind of see like a very faint, very, very faint soft pink. These are expensive. Um, and I, I do expect more from a blush. Not every blush needs to be like this level hyper pigmented, but like it looks like it's barely there and these aren't cheap so I don't know I don't recommend these <laughs> I recommend pretty much everything else from flower nose but not these um this one is in one of their lighter colors I definitely wanted to try that this like blue that was really um appealing to me but I just yeah I don't think that 
I don't think that this is, is worth recommending. I do collect flower nose, so I will be holding on to this. Um, but mostly for the outer packaging, just because, like, how can you... How can you get rid of that? It's literally, like, something from a magical girl anime. But I will be letting this... I will be keeping this one and holding on to this. This one is from their Strawberry Rococo collection. I do like this one a lot more. Not only the outside packaging, but also the inside. You can tell the embossment is still there because I don't have to fight for my life to get this one to show up. So it is still sheer. You can't really see it that much, but this does show up on my cheeks. It actually does. So I, I recommend if you're going to pick one up from Flower Nose to get the darker shades. I did pick up the darkest shade blush from the new uh, Moonlit Lerm <laughs> the new Moonlit Mermaid collection. So um you can expect a video for that to come whenever my whenever they decide to ship out my order. All right. These next 3 are from uh M Cosmetics. They are very fun. They're their serum drops uh blushers and i got the winter spice trio so for like 65 dollars, i was able to get all of these they're in the shade venetian rose forbidden fruit and rose milk i do really like these um i don't know if they're worth the money though this is venetian rose okay this one is like a terracotta -y color um and my advice with these blushes is to blend them out with your fingers as much as you can before you go in with your sponge or your brush because it will just get soaked in. And this one is this one is my favorite one. This one is in the shade Rose Milk. They're kind of similar, but this one is more neutral. This one is more pink. But yeah, if you go in with your blush right or with your brush or sponge right away, they'll just get totally eaten up. And I also recommend doing a lighter base with these. Like, I don't think they play well with a whole lot of foundation. This one is in the shade Forbidden Fruit. So, honestly, all of these colors are a little bit too similar for me to feel like this is a perfect trio. I wish they had uh, included some of their more unique colors, but I do recommend this formula. I'm glad I got to try it. I do think it plays uh, nicely with the, the type of style of makeup that I do but these do blend out to nothing if you're not careful like they will truly get they look so pigmented and so beautiful here but they will truly just get eaten up by whatever you wear if you're not careful so you have been warned a formula that I would recommend instead is the rare beauty blush and um these are the soft pinch blushes. I know that you have heard a million other people recommend these to me before watching this video, and it's not for no reason. This is in the shade Encourage. It's like a mauve-y, neutral mauve. Uh, Truth. This one was a maroon. And then um, Happy, and this one is a bright pink. These are so good. They um, are so pigmented. <laughs> Everything you've heard about them is true. Let me just say that. Like, they are truly worth the hype. I don't know if this gift set is still available, but I was able to pick all of these up for $30, which compare that to the M Cosmetics Trio, $65, $30. Like, let, let that speak for itself. Um, so I do recommend, I do recommend ra uh, Rare above M Cosmetics. But if you're looking for something that has a little bit a little bit more of like a skin-like finish, the M Cosmetics is probably the one for you. I do find that these look a little bit makeup-y. They blend well. Like they blend well enough, but it definitely looks like blush, if you know what I mean. It doesn't have that like skin-like finish. Alright. I'm gonna do my uh Asian beauty brands now. Let's do Can Make first. Can Make makes these beautiful powder blushes. Uh, they're just called Powder Cheeks by Can Make Tokyo. And they're in this. I have the shades PW39 and PW40. They might have like uh, translated names depending on where you find them. But um, I bought these at Tesso. So I don't know because I bought them in person. You might be alarmed by this yellow color, but it looks so natural on the cheeks it just looks like pure sunshine 
And <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I know that uh, I believe it was Blend Bunny that came out with their new blush palette that had like a yellowy, bright, sunshiny shade. Uh, Canmake did it first. <laughs> like they did it before it was cool. I love a yellow blush. It looks so natural and yet so unexpected. Definitely keeping this one. Definitely recommend it. This one is more of a cool purple. And I also really like this like kind of lavendery shade. But I don't reach for it as much. You can see though, I don't have any dupes in my collection. Like I have a lot of things that are kind of similar. But there are all such different finishes and all such different colors that it actually does make sense to me. Um, I will be keeping this one. And then the last thing I have from Canmake is their Cream Cheek. I have mine in the shade PO3. This is a beautiful, beautiful blush. I used to wear this every day in the fall. And whoop, my package kind of came apart. The packaging is kind of uh, cheapy cheapy, but... um. This is an affordable brand. It's like the Japanese drugstore brand. Um, but the it's bringing the quality. It is similar to that uh, ColourPop's uh, Super Shock Cheek in the shade Voile. Vo 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 but um, it's different enough to me in finish where this one is just a little bit more pigmented. And this one's a little bit more creamy and sparkly. I probably don't need both, but I just love this color so much. And they do... They do serve kind of different functions for me, so I will be hanging on to both of these. Rounding out my Asian beauty collection, these are from the shade The Same, S-A-E-M. This is a Korean beauty brand. I think the only thing I have tried from them is their blush. I love this formula. This is the, my most used blush in my entire collection. This is in the shade uh, CR02 Baby Coral. I bought these both from Yes Style, which if you're interested, I do have a code with Yes Style. Um, and this is just a perfect matte peach. It's so flattering and I love it so much. And I can't believe I don't have a dupe for it in my collection because it's such like a obvious kind of shade for blush. But it truly is like so unique to my collection. All right, this one is in the shade OR02 selfie orange and i'm glad i got to try this one i do think it looks really nice on the cheeks as you can tell it's a very kind of startling bright orange it's so neon don't pay any attention to the fact that it's clumping up my fingers are just kind of dry because um i've been swatching for the past 20 minutes but um it's kind of just this like cute tic tac orange I do think that there's a time and place for this blush. Definitely not for everyday use for me. And I'm not afraid of color, but this is just, it just is a little bit too, too neon. I do love an orange blush. I'm about to show you an orange blush that I do think is good for daily wear, but yeah, definitely not something I would wear to work or anything like that. This one is the Solmon Sunlight Love Blusher in the shade Peach Gleam from Odin's Eye Cosmetics. Truly a fantastic wonderland fantasy packaging like i i hate to even use it because the embossing is so beautiful this is truly like a orangey peach and it's like a nice shimmery finish um i i really do love this i wear it a lot if you're looking for something that's a little bit more blendable then uh just to go in with a very light hand my one complaint about this entire collection is that I really wish that they had different color outside packaging because every single one of their blushes comes in this orange and every single one of their highlighters comes in like a purple packaging and it's just kind of annoying to have to like read the back and like check the inside for every single shade because I don't know it, that's just like my one my one thing I would change about this collection. But this is the only one that I own, so it doesn't even bother me that much. I will obviously be keeping this one because it is it is such a nice addition to my collection. I'm not doing a good job at all. Um, this is definitely going to be more of like a collection tour than a declutter. I recently got rid of a lot of things um, before I started my channel, but let's just go ahead and keep going. Um, this is my Melt Blush in the shade Polished. 
it's their cream formula and i love i love 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 this formula it's so blendable so creamy so pigmented and i picked it up on a shade that i think that really works for me it's not a pink it's kind of like a burnt peach is how i would describe it um yeah it brings the pigment but it's still so blendable i would love to pick up more of these um melts has sales a whole lot of the time so don't ever pay full price for this ladies and gentlemen wait for a sale for sure but yeah i highly recommend this formula this one has been kicking around since i was in high school this is the nyx whipped faux fouet i don't know i just always call it like their whipped formula and this is a hybrid um cheek and lip formula and it's just a cutesy bubblegum pink i think i also had this in a neutral shade that i decluttered a long time ago um i don't even know what shade this is because all the letters wore off but um this just needs to go for it's just very expired i don't believe in um powder products expiring but cream products definitely do and i don't i would never put this on my face it's just way too old up next this is from the shade model co or model company i don't really know how to refer to them and it's in the shade peach bellini this is a really nice shimmery peachy shade it does show up when I swatch it, but when I put it on my cheeks, it's very sheer. Um, while I don't have anything like this in my collection, really, I don't really reach for this one ever. So I think I'm going to I'm gonna put this one in my maybe pile. This is the last drugstore thing I own between NYX and, um, and this one. That, that's my entire <laughs> drugstore. But um, this is from Milani. This is in the shade T Rose. I wanted this to be my, oop, I just dug my fingernail. Oopsie, oopsie. I wanted this to be my favorite blush. I wanted this to be my blush that I wore every day. And it just doesn't bring the heat. It's just too sheer. Maybe they have other shades that work better. I do know people that really like this blush, but I just, yeah. It just wasn't my perfect, it wasn't my perfect formula or color or whatever so I do think that this has potential it has a really beautiful rose embossing that's gone which shows you like just how hard I really did try to love it but I just don't think this is for me I'm gonna try to see if I have a friend who'll like this more and get rid of it all right I have two Glossier cloud paints in the shade beam and storm um if you know you know these were literally like the only makeup that anyone owned and I squirted out a week's worth on my hand um these are beautiful 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 they truly last like such a long time like I've never had to repurchase these and they blend beautifully into makeup I think I will be I'll be holding on to both of these this one is in the shade storm um for a long time they just had four shades and then they released some other ones this was one of their newer, it's not new at all anymore, it's been around for years, but such a dramatic shade. If you're, if you are wanting to have a more colorful blush in your collection, but you are uncomfortable with color or blending and you're just scared that it's going to come out looking clowny, I really recommend these because they just blend so beautifully and you only need a tiny little bit and it'll last you like literally the rest of your life. So I do recommend these. I think they're great. You probably already have them in your collection. Kind of surprisingly similar in formula are these Illamasqua Color Veils. Um, I have the shade Consume in Frisson. Consume is like a terracotta kind of brownie color. And these are so fun. Like you press down on them and, and it like squishes. It's like a squishy jelly texture. Not even putty, but like jelly. And they're so pigmented. So blendable. These I bought on sale for I think like next to nothing. And I highly, I highly recommend these. I don't see anybody talking about these. But like 
they're just so buttery smooth and they come in some really fun colors so if you ever see these on sale like please grab them this one is in uh the shade for son and it's just kind of like a dusty mauve um i wear this one less just because like i like a more punchy color on the cheeks and this one is definitely a little bit more neutral but this one does still bring the heat and does bring the pigment it just is a lighter color um, but yeah, I love I love both of these. I'll be keeping these until they expire for sure. All right, this is a powder blush from Ciate London in the shade Pinch Me. I don't honestly know if this is a blush or a highlight. It has a lot of pigment. It's like kind of a pinky, frosty color. Very cute, very pretty, but I, I will be letting this one go because it just doesn't, I don't reach for it a lot. All right, this one is from Lovecraft Beauty, a brand that I don't know anything about but I picked it up whoop. I picked it up because it's just like such a cute melon shade I don't know what shade it's in <laughs> I'm so sorry um but yeah it's a very fun color and it's like the perfect in between peach and pink I think melon is like the perfect way to describe it are you gonna open please yes thank you let me swatch it somewhere else where you can actually see it better. Yeah, it's like such a fun color and it is really pigmented. I'll be hanging on to this one. Moving on to my palettes now. Um, this is from Muse Beauty. Uh, are, is it Muse? No, they rebranded to Kai Love, formerly known as Muse Beauty. This is the color wash. I picked these up during their out of business sale. I think they actually have some still available and they're like seven bucks. Um, this one is in the shade Youth and Play. One matte and one sparkle. These are really great. I don't know if it's my favorite blush formula, but I'm going to keep these kicking around um, just because like Kylove isn't around anymore and I really do love the brand. So I will be hanging on to these. And then last one from Kylov, I have the shades Modernity in Paris. This one I like a lot more than the other one. It's just a lot more fun colors in my opinion. Oops, I accidentally dipped my nail in it. Yeah, this coppery brown is so beautiful. And then this jammy pink, so beautiful. Like they came out with the most fun, interesting colors. I really, this one is like the standout one for me. And then... Next up is the Surrender Palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. They have the shades Passionate, Romantic, and Luscious. These are so nice. Um, they're not really swatching that well because my fingers are so dried up right now. I absolutely love these blushes. They are so shimmery. They are so fun colors. And I don't know if I would call them duochromes, but they definitely have, like, a little bit of a shift to them. I love this palette. I hope they introduce it to their permanent collection because it is so, so beautiful. I reach for this all the time. <sighs> Alright, last but not least, my Chaotic Cosmetics Bang & Blush palette. I'm not going to swatch this one because there's six of them and they all look very true to pan. But I highly recommend this palette. Not only is it affordable, but it's great quality. Um, and... These colors are just so fun. Like, you get your neutrals, you get, like, these three shades I think are really great for people who aren't super into color, but then you have these three brights that are just so impactful, and they are a buildable formula, so you don't have to worry about um, it looking patchy or anything like that. I love this palette. I highly recommend it. Chaotic Cosmetics is a great brand. All right, for my two maybes, um... I think I'll be keeping this blush stick from ColourPop, even though it's kind of bulky and annoying. This is the only cream blush formula that I have from ColourPop. I just got rid of, like, several of their blush serums. Um, so I, it'll be nice to have one cream product from them. And then this Model Company blush, I will be letting go. It's really nice. I don't have anything against it. It's just a little bit too basic for me. I like my blushes to just be a little bit more... Um, I don't know fun colors this is somebody's perfect blush but it's not mine so I'm gonna let it go not to disappoint anybody but my final counts are gonna be 
really lame. Um, I'm keeping the vast majority of my collection. I did recently just declutter everything off camera before I decided to start this channel. So um, I'm really only letting go of things that kind of barely passed the mark a few weeks ago and I decided to do a declutter. So I'm going to go ahead and do my final counts and let you know what I'm keeping and what I'm throwing away. These are the five things I will be letting go. So these are the 33 blushes that I am keeping all organized and stored away. And I'm also keeping two duos and two palettes. Let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end. I hope you enjoyed this little declutter. It was more of a collection tour than a declutter because I did get rid of a lot of things just a couple weeks ago, but I hope you enjoyed nonetheless. I will have a highlight declutter coming soon, so keep your eye out for that. And I would absolutely love it if you liked, commented, subscribed, all that good stuff. This is a brand new channel, so every little bit does help. And it just makes my entire day when I see new people join this little fam of weirdos who love to put colors on their face. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!